All right, this is the uh, Knight Rider kit I just got on of eBay, and uh, this is what came in the kit. You know, I like this little uh, install manual. You know, I guess this is the Generation 4, and <laughs> you can see they just wrote a 4 over the 3, so that makes it apparently a, a Generation 4. They're not updating their piece of paper. <laughs> just writing over the... <laughs> over the four, but otherwise, uh, you know, this is the kit, you know, this is a little bar that's going to go on underneath, it's going to connect up to my brake light there, and it has this little fancy looking remote, and uh, those buttons are looking a little scary, because I'm pretty sure those aren't going to be uh, terribly glove friendly, uh, but we'll find out. So. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to install it in the bike and we'll see how this works out. Alright, so this is one of the mods I already got for this bike. Uh, I got the rear seat cowl. And so I'm just going to take this off. Right, so I'm taking off the seat. Like that there. Alright, so now I just need to unscrew these little bolts here to take this cowl off. So now we just take this little piece here and we just kind of fit it in like so. Hmm. And this is going to be where the wires are going and here you can see the rear brake cable is right here. And so I think I'll just try to pop that right off. So now I just need to unplug this right here, just by pinching here. I don't know if you can see that little tab. <coughs> Bless you. So there's a little tab right here that you just press in, and that comes right apart. So I'm going to just connect these together. Here we go, right like this. This end. up I can worry about the cabling afterwards. But now I just need to line this up. So this dot is in the center. Center of the brake line. So that appears to be lined up and I will remove the tape and see if I can't stick that on. Alright there we go dots kind of lined right up here so that should be the center and now I just need to hide this box I can say that this box here isn't waterproof so that's that's not good so we gotta protect that as well as we can so I'm just gonna kind of stuff that under stuff these under here as best I can and hope that it all stays together. Alright. Alright, so now I'm going to put the cowl back on. So, that will just And it's not quite sliding on where it should. to make that sit in there. So let me screw this back on. Alright. Alright. There we go. That is in there. That is 
in there, so let's get the seat on and give it a shot. Alright, seat is in. Let us see what we got. Oh, look at that thing. This is going to look better at night. I'm going to come back and take a look at this at night because the, the daylight isn't doing it justice. So we'll come back and take a look at this at night. All right, I came out here just at uh, nighttime so I could take a look and see what this thing looks like at night. So get a better idea how this works. Let's hope that that looks all right. Stay solid for my hazard. And I can see it going through different patterns. And I can make each one of these, you know, different speeds. But these are the different patterns. colors. This thing has a ton of different settings. I'm just going through these each really fast because each one of these are pretty much the same pattern uh, just with a different color. <laughs> that one might be slightly illegal in the U.S. but uh, yeah we don't have to tell anyone about that. Yeah, that, might, that might also be a little bit illegal. Red and blue is kind of a police specific thing, so I don't know how legal that is. Wow, that's pretty freaky. And just a solid pattern. I hope the camera's getting all this. That's pretty much all of them. But of course, you can speed up and slow down each one of these damn things. So let me find one I kind of like. Yeah, I think I have to stick there. Anyway, that's uh, that's the Night Rider strip. Let me know if you have any questions.